All right, we're here in the Screaming Demons RC shop. That's SDRC. Uh, today we're going to be doing a uh, unpackaging and review and install on the RPM front bumper and skid plate for the Arma Creighton and the Durango DX8T. Uh, we'll get right at her here. So the part number on this was 81472. It's only available in black, so you don't really get a choice. That's why there's only one part number. Okay, so in the package you get the skid plate and bumper mount with the uh, typical RPM logo embossed into it. Yeah. And you get the bumper that goes on top there. You also get the skid plate and mounting hardware, which is uh, four mil by I'm not sure the length of these uh, 16 millimeter it says right here in instructions uh, you also get the two screws and nylock nuts those are also four mil those are uh, how long are those 12 mil I believe it says there and those go for the bumper that hold the bumper on they also include a nice sticker decent size one not just the tiny ones they usually do and a nice little instruction sheet here so Shouldn't have any problems putting it together and uh, it does say in the instructions or when I ordered it off of RPM or when I looked at RPM and then I ordered it it said that when you use this bumper onto the V3 version of the Creighton you need to remove this bumper because it will no longer this bumper will not work with the RPM bumper and skid plate because I think what happens is that where it mounts it's just going to be in the way there so we got to put the original bumper on and they said to order that if you don't have it well i don't have it i didn't want to order it and i just happen to have the uh typhon here so i believe that it's the same bumper i'm going to take this one off see if i can exchange it with this one put it on here then this one will fit so that's what i'll be doing off camera so uh you guys won't have to watch all the uh, taking the screws out because I'm sure you all know how to do that so okay I'll be back in a minute with uh, when I pop those off okay I removed the uh, Typhon bumper this is the Creighton bumper the V3 bumper sorry uh, I removed the Creighton or sorry the Typhon bumper uh, I took all the screws from this and I put it now onto the front of here so I screwed the, uh, the keeper the pin keeper back on the aluminum part there I screwed that back on with the uh, screws from the Typhon that went with this bumper originally the bottom two screws from the Typhon I won't be using because I'll be using the supplied screws that came with the new bumper that's these four M4s here so I'll screw that on here uh, off camera and then I'll show you what that looks like and then I will get the, uh, the uh, bumper put on actually I might put this on first it'll probably make it a little easier to assemble that then stick it onto the truck I think that's what it says in the instructions to do first anyway so I'll get that done and then I'll show you what that looks like so I just put the two nylock nuts into those two holes one on either side pushed them down in there with a screwdriver and then put the the uh, screws in from the top there they are there I haven't snugged them down quite yet um, the next thing I have to do is basically just put the four screws that hold this uh, skid plate bumper onto the chassis and I'll show you what that looks like Okay, I chose to uh, put the Creighton on a stand upside down while I took the four screws uh, out here because basically those hold the diff, uh, the diff casings all in place and the front end together like the bulkhead. So I didn't want to just uh, take them apart having, holding it up on the bench and have it try and, you know, fall apart or shift. So I just figured put it, put it stationary, you know, upside down and it's just all sitting the weight of it's all holding it straight should be good and then I can uh, put the skid plate on on there just like that and the skid plate is designed so it has uh, like fake screw heads I guess you know they're they're countersinked countersunk sorry to fit into these holes here the countersunk holes here so it fits right down in there and, and it should well I, I got one hand here I'm sorry I'm holding the camera but it should just fit down there nicely yeah and just notch into place screws go in holds her tight real tight and secure so we'll get her on there and I'll show you what she looks like there boys okay there's what it looks like all on and assembled looks really good I love the black on black this truck is just 
dark and nasty. I love it. Love it so much. It's great. I'm sure you guys all think the same. Hopefully you do. Uh, write a comment in. Uh, let me know what you think of this truck. Um, does anybody else have one that's uh, watching this video? T you know, show me what you've done to yours. Uh, give me some, uh, you know, comments, examples. Send me some links to uh, things that I could do with this maybe. Uh, and let me know. Yeah, I like the front end of that look now. We'll uh, throw the body on there in a second and see how it looks. I'm thinking it's pretty tough. Yeah, it's got some good spring to it. So that's going to take a nice hit and take the shock out of the actual impact of the truck when it smashes into the earth at amazing speeds. So uh, hold on one second. I'll show you what it looks like with the body. All right, I'm definitely liking the look of that, that bumper on there. It's going to uh, protect the front of the Creighton real good. It's a nice curved, curved look to it. Follows the front end of the truck pretty nicely. They actually managed to follow that well. Doesn't stick out too far. I was kind of worried about that. I didn't know if it was going to be good um, gouging the ground when you do like a bit of front end landings or you know scooping down into the transition of a big jump. Um, but I think it'll be okay. It's got some uh, nice, nice ribs that you can see here, which will hold the integrity and the strength of it. And uh, those will grind off obviously before it starts to grind anything else on the uh, skid plate. And once again, nice little RPM uh, logo there. Nice, clean look to it. So if you guys uh, are looking at front bumpers, I know there's a few on the market. I looked at them and I thought that uh, the RPM one basically was for the cost of it, uh, the look of it. Uh, you know, I've, I've got a lot of RPM parts on a lot of my different vehicles. They're good. They last great. Um, it's a really good blend of nylon. Uh, they flex a lot comparative, you know, to other brands before they snap you can actually boil rpm parts in water i believe they say 10 minutes no more than 10 minutes you need to do it and they will suck up the water uh, because they're a, a porous plastic or a nylon sorry they will suck the water into it and they will gain more flexibility so if you're in a, a really dry environment and you uh, you know your truck sits around in your sh your shop and it's hot and dry or it's been a couple of years since you've bought your RPM parts, take them off, throw them into a, a pot of boiling water on the stove. It doesn't have to be super raging boiling, just a nice simmer and uh, let them boil for 10 minutes. It'll suck all the water into them, make them as flexible as possible, put them back on, you're good to go. Obviously, if you drive them in cold uh, sub-zero temperatures with moisture in the plastic, they're gonna break. The water is gonna freeze in there become brittle and they're going to snap so you know be warned that there's goods and bads about both of those points of adding obviously boiling them and adding water uh, but look into it it's a great thing and uh, rpm it's a great thing that rpm offers with their plastics it's just that type of plastic so anyway i'm going to uh, let you guys go for this video if you like the video subscribe throw me a thumbs up and uh, i'll be bringing you more i got more parts uh, that I'll be putting on. I got some parts sent to me by GKA Custom uh, RC Parts out of Alberta, Canada. They sent me a nice bunch of aluminum stuff. So I'll be, uh, the next video, I'll be putting them all into the uh, crate in here. Uh, chassis braces, uh, a steering uh, servo mount, and a couple of other small parts that go in the back here. So I'll be putting those in and giving you guys that video. So uh, anyway, you guys have a great day. SDRC. Uh, here's a little sneak peek of those parts I'll be putting in in the next video. GKA. My camera's not doing them justice. They are pieces of art, you guys. So when you see these installed, it's going to up the Creighton's bling value big time. Anyway, SDRC out, guys.